Good morning. Welcome to our Sunday morning devotional brought to you by Golden Isles Primitive Baptist Fellowship and Heart Floss TV. I'm V. Vernon Eckleberry, and this morning I have a lesson for you entitled Someone to Care. Someone to Care. Gershwin wrote in the lyrics to his tune, Someone to Watch Over Me, There's somebody I'm longing to see. I hope that he turns out to be someone who will watch over me. Well, for the child of God, we'll see this morning, that's exactly what we have. One thing I hear over and over in these times is that I feel so powerless, so small, all alone, and seemingly with no one to help. But the Bible promises us that there is relief from this kind of despair. In 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 7, we are told by Peter that we should cast all of our care upon him, that is, upon God, for he careth for you. Now that seventh verse of 1 Peter 5 literally translates this way. Give all your worries and cares to God, for he cares about you. Someone to care. You know, even the great King David uh, had these moments when he felt alone, afraid, and powerless, and uh, he wrote about that on more than one occasion, as in Psalm 13, verses 1 and 2. How long wilt thou forget me, O Lord, forever? How long wilt thou hide thy face from me? Where are you, Lord? I need you, and you, you just don't seem to be doing anything about it. How long shall I take counsel in my soul, having sorrow in my heart daily? How long? shall my enemy be exalted over me? In other words, how long shall the thing that's oppressing me be getting the, the upper hand in my life? Well, uh, soon it is revealed to David, however, that this was far from the case. His God cares for him, he learns, in a way far greater than he ever knew. In Psalm 139, verses 1 through 5, we have this discovery that David made of God's care for him as it was revealed through the Holy Spirit. Now here we have, in the first five verses of Psalm 139, the three aspects of God's care for us. And uh, the first is the omniscience of God. Secondly, we have the omnipresence of God. And thirdly, the omnipotence of God. These are three aspects of God's care for us that gives us the incentive and the faith to take all of our cares and give them to God for he careth for you. So first in the psalm we see the omniscience of God. Verses 1, 2, and 4. O Lord, thou hast searched me and known me. Thou knowest my downsitting and my uprising. Thou understandest my thought afar off. For there is not a word in my tongue, but lo, O Lord, thou knowest it altogether. Now, the omniscience is of God is his ability, his capacity to know all things at all times. And for David, there was no greater comfort than to know that God knew, that God knew his situation, that God knew the personal tribulation that he was undergoing. We hear that our God is a personal God, and, and that is what that means, that, it, that he, he knows you, knows all about you, knows everything 
that you are going through, knows your thoughts, knows your prayers, knows your sighs and your sorrows. That's the omniscience of God. And that's one way that we can be assured that He cares for us. But secondly, David becomes aware of the omnipresence of God in his life. Verse 3, Thou compassest my path and my lying down and art acquainted with all my ways. Now, omnipresence is the aspect of God's care for us that is considered here in verse 3. Uh, that is the presence of God everywhere at the same time. You're acquainted with all of my ways, David says, no matter where I go. I'll never be without you. God promises, I will never leave nor forsake you. And that's what the omnipresence of God is all about. David personalizes this great truth further down in this 139th Psalm when he writes in verse 7, Whether shall I go from thy spirit? Whether shall I flee from thy presence? If I ascend up into heaven, you're there. If I make my bed in hell, behold, thou art there. If I take the wings of morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there shall thy hand lead me, and thy right hand shall hold me. So you see, that's the omnipresence of God that David is trusting in now. This is the aspect of God's care for us that tells us that no matter where we go and what we do, no matter where our path may lead us, how low or how high we are in any given circumstance, God is there. Now, isn't that something? Isaiah describes this perfectly in Isaiah chapter 43, verse 2. Uh, and this is the promise of God, the promise of His omnipresence, that is, being with us everywhere we may be. When thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned, neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. Fear not, fear not, Isaiah writes these words of God. Fear not, for I am with thee. That's the omnipresence of God with his people. But now we want to look at the third aspect of God's care for his people, and that is the omnipotence of God. The omnipotence of God. Omnipotence is the quality of having unlimited power over all things in heaven and on earth and beneath the earth. And David takes great comfort in not only knowing that God knows all about him and that God is with him wherever life leads him, but also that God has the power to care for him and protect him all along the way. Verse 5. Thou hast beset me behind and before. And that word beset means enclosed. You have enclosed me behind and before and laid thine hand upon me. So David is saying, I'm literally surrounded by you. You are before me and behind me and your hand is upon me. Now, and, and, and in all circumstances, you see, David trusts that that power of God is protecting him. That's the omnipotence of God in caring for his people. He not only knows our situation, he not only is there in our situation, but he has the power to do something about it. 
according to his will for our lives. So let's review these three aspects of God's care for us. God in his omniscience knows all about our ups and downs. Through his omnipresence, he is always with us in our ups and downs. And because of his omnipotence, he not only knows about us and stays with us, but he has also the power to help and protect us no matter what the situation might be. This, then, is how we apply the great truth of God's care for us. As Peter wrote it in 1 Peter 5, 7, Give all your worries and cares to God, for he careth for you. Now may God be with you till we meet again.